My name is Charles Daniel Murin, and I'm a postdoc in Dr. Andrew Ward's lab, and I've been there since 2016. Prior to that, I was a graduate student in Dr. Ward and Dr. Erica Almond Sapphire's labs from 2011 until 2016. Currently, I work on understanding the immune response to filoviral infection. And filoviruses are viruses such as Ebola and Marburg virus and related viruses. In our lab, we take antibodies that are given to us by collaborators who have isolated them from people that have naturally survived a filoviral infection. And we take a look at these antibodies from a structural point of view. We utilize cryo-electron microscopy to understand where they bind on the virus. And then subsequently, we like to then use that information to better design therapeutics and vaccines that could be used to curb future outbreaks. So I think it's a very valuable for people that work in uh, the laboratory to make sure they get outside of the lab. And so one way I like to do that is to participate in flag football. So this is something that I've done here in San Diego for the past four years. And so this has given me an opportunity to sharpen my team building skills, as well as my leadership skills in a, a different setting than one might have in the laboratory. So two accomplishments that really stick out in my mind that I'd like to highlight. Um, number one would be the National Science Foundation Research Fellowship that I got as a graduate student. So I had applied for this uh, twice, actually once as an undergraduate, and so it was a, a wonderful milestone for me to really um, propel myself into a, a new trajectory in my, my career as a scientist. And then the other one that stands out is a paper that I published in uh, 2014 that was during the uh, massive Ebola virus outbreak. And this paper was actually highlighted by then uh, director of the National Institutes of Health, Dr. Francis Collins, uh, in one of his uh, blogs that he posts online. And he pointed out uh, that it was an elegant study that really helped to develop uh, a new drug for treatment of filovirus disease. So that was a, a fantastic milestone as well. I was elected in November as president of the Society of Fellows. So as president, I'm responsible for setting the agenda for the year, making sure we adhere to our constitution, overseeing the budget, and learning our month-to-month -month meetings. And so this has really given me an opportunity to step up as a leader and develop my skills um, in dealing with multiple different personalities. So it's been a wonderful opportunity and I'm really excited about what is in store for the next year.